Greetings, my dear viewers. Welcome back to Dungeons & Dragons Character Concept, Plane Shift. Today we are looking at the merfolk from Plane Shift Exolan and Plane Shift Zendikar. Because we have two different variants of the merfolk from the same supplement, giving us five subclasses. Which, there's not really much differentiating the blue merfolk with the water merfolk or the green merfolk and the wind merfolk. I think. I didn't exactly look at all the stats, but they're pretty darn similar. Anywho, from Ixalan we have blue merfolk and green merfolk. Which I don't remember seeing any green I might be teal green colorblind. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm not actually colorblind. I just know that there aren't that many green merfolk within Magic the Gathering. With Zendikar, we have Emira, Wind, Ula, Water, and Kossi, Trickster. We actually talked about this last time with the core. These quote unquote deities are false memories of the time of the Eldrazi Titans. Imra Kul, Ula Mog, Kozelekt. Now, as far as I can tell with the different cards, we have some similarities in either backgrounds or classes. Archaeologist, entertainer, pirate, fisher, hermit, outlander, Sage, Sailor, Shipwright, and Soldier would be pretty darn common amongst Merfolk, especially with some of the cards having Merfolk diving into the depths, sort of aerial style, looking for odd trinkets from a past empire. I don't exactly know the full reason for this, but classes that might work would definitely be Bard, Clerics, rogues, and even wizards being the most common among some of the merfolk cards. Now, there are other merfolk besides Exalent and Zindikar. You can actually find some merfolk within the Semic Conclave over on Ravnica, and even the School of Quandrix from Strixhaven. And I think a couple of others, but those are the only ones I can think of off the top of my head. Let's go ahead and start things off with the Artificer. There was only one Merfolk Artificer that I saw, so we are only doing this as sort of a complimentary. The only one that seems to match with a Merfolk is going to be the Alchemist, doing all those alchemical co co concoctions, especially when you have somebody like Semic. Next is the Barbarian. The most common I can think of are the Ancestral Guardians and Storm Heralds to represent those merfolk from Zendikar and Ixalan. But if you want to go for more of a merfolk from the Forgotten Realm storyline, I would recommend either the Depths or the Beast. This is because of our friends the Merrow. Merfolk who were infused with the demonic power of big bad tentacle ape himself, Demogorgon. Moving on to the Bard. For your Bardic College, I would recommend the Dirge Singer, Glamour, and Lore Bards. Definitely Lore, since you do have those who are looking for the secrets of the past. Next is the Cleric, the ones that seem to fit best with the Zendikar sub-races would be Life, Nature, Tempest, and Cleric, as well as the Mind Domain. We are talking about the Eldrazi after all. I would also recommend Knowledge, once again going after those secrets of the past. But also in the Forgotten Realms, there is a god of the Merfolk, I think his name was Eardra? I can't remember the exact name, but his was Nature and Tempest. 
So there's definitely something to go off of with that in mind. Moving on to Druid, I would recommend the Circle of Land, going with either Coast, Forest, or Swamp to signify the different places you can find in Zindika and Ixalan. Then you also have Moon to represent the oncoming tide, which is pulled by the moon. And then there is Primeval, more of another thing to represent the merfolk of Ixalan. Next is a Fighter. I would recommend the Arcane Archer, because, you know, elves and Zindikar. Battlemaster the Cavalier, because some merfolk in the Forgotten Realms are known to ride sharks. And then you have the Unearthed Arcana's Scout subclass, which I don't think I need to explain why a scout merfolk would make sense. Moving on to Monk, we're going to go with the four elements. This is to give us the wind and water. We have Sun Soul going again off of Ixalan. One of their things is the sun. And then Tranquility. Because of the tranquil tide, the flow of a river. And Tranquility is Unearthed Arcana. With some of these Unearthed Arcanas, you are going to have to make sure you have your Dungeon Master's permission to use them. Next is Paladin. You have your Secret Oath of the Ancient, your Crown, the Open Sea, and the Watchers. Watchers going for that. We just got hit by a bunch of Eldrazi, which are beings from another dimension. We need to make sure nothing else can get through to our side. Next is the Ranger. For your Ranger, Conclave, Beastmaster, and Hunter are going to make the most sense, but so is the Primeval Guardian because of how things work within Zindikar and Ixalan. More Zindikar than Ixalan. And I would also recommend the Horizon Walker for the same reason I recommend the Paladin Oath of the Watchers. You get hit by a bunch of forces from outside of your own plane. You've got to figure out a way to stop them from doing it again. Next is the rogue. The most common roguish archetypes I think you're going to find among the merfolk are going to be the assassin, the scout, the swashbuckler, and the thief. Next is the Sorcerer, going off of the Eldrazi sort of thing. I would go with Aberrant Mind, but you can also argue that it would work for some merfolk that follow both Dagon and Dimbigorgon. Next is Lunar Sorcery, once again going off of the Magic of the Moon. And then Storm Sorcery to sort of go back into that Zendikar and Ixalan sort of feel. Next is Warlock, going back into the otherworldly beings. The Great Old One definitely fits for anyone who follows the Eldrazi. The Fathomless will go perfectly with the Demogorgon. Then you have the Kraken, just in case you have a magical Kraken for some reason. And then, of course, the Fiend once again going into Demogorgon and Dagon. And finally, with our wizard class, the arcane traditions that I think are going to be the most common among merfolk are going to be graviturgy and transmutation, especially with those in the Seamic Conclave. But I would also recommend blade singing, since Zindikar has a bunch of elves. I don't think they're going to be too stingy with their way of magic. Doesn't even seem that way from an outsider's perspective. And with that being said, that is all the time I have for you today, my dear viewers. What did you think about the merfolk of Zindikar and Ixalan? Let me know down in the comment section below what type of characters you would make using this race. Until next time, this has been Drehan, and I am offline.